All right, guys, so these panels have really been a pain to uh, try to fit so far. Um, I've had to take already almost probably 12 millimeters off of the chamfer panels here all the way up just to get it down to fit properly on the forms. I'm um, not sure if the forms dimensions are slightly off or if the panel dimensions are slightly off, but uh, it, it's really just kicking our butt at this point. Um, I've put the second panels up. I, I've clamped it. Uh, we had a few warm days here that just passed. See, everything seems to be holding its curve pretty well. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to glue these joints here from the second panel to the bridge deck. And then I'll be able to slide this point up into this big gap here. Uh, I mean, right now clamping it to the forms, it's actually pulling it too low. If I glue this joint here, it'll at least give me a solid surface to start with. Um, it's pretty obvious that these corners here and here should line up. So I'm going to pull this panel forward. It's not going to take much. It's only off by no, six millimeters or so, quarter inch. Um, and I'll do the same thing on this side. They're both approximately the same off. So it shouldn't be a big deal to just like pull them forward just a, just a hair. And then hopefully everything starts fitting into place a little bit better from here out. Uh, if not, we'll have to just kind of do this process as we go all the way along and uh, line it up the best we can. Yeah, all right, thanks for watching. This, you know, our wonderful resin table, because we, uh, we now have a bolt in the tent, and uh, it doesn't fit. <laughs> so now we're mixing resin outside. It's beautiful out right now. It's sticking to the stick. Yeah, so that's a good consistency. Awesome methods of doing this because you know, I'm, I'm a pro at this stuff. Oops. Oh. And then I'll take a plastic spatula and cut a radius on it. So just cut a radius the size of a quarter, so about one inch diameter. And I will use this now just to kind of give a nice fillet in these corners. And obviously I have way too much here. Off. Unfortunately the clamp's kind of holding me there, so I can touch the corner up later if I have to. If I can't get the, the very tip here, I'll just hit it later when I do the next section. At least it should hold everything in place. I know technically it's supposed to start with the bottom panel. Uh, this is the, the most clever thing we could come up with. At the moment. And like I said, hopefully this is... Uh, hopefully we don't regret it. I don't think we will though. Even if I do, like I, said, I can easily cut that out real quick and just start over. It's not a big deal if this doesn't like, work the way I'm hoping. All right, so uh, we glued the joints here. This is all dry now. This is uh, next day. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna take these cleats off now and I will try to fit this joint a little bit better here. Same thing on the other side. Uh, one thing I didn't do before I glued this joint here was actually take all the peel ply off the back. Hindsight, I should have done that just so I can, uh, you know, I'm not fighting with it later on, but hopefully I can still peel it off no problem. Uh, I will peel uh, at least six inches off the edges of all the rest of the panels before we put them on. Just, you know, think, trying to think ahead here. Hey, yeah. Uh, all right. And just pull, yeah, keep it tight like that. There you go. So it doesn't pull it off. Cool. Cool. Yeah. No. Don't whack yourself. Very <laughs> <laughs> too funny. <laughs> All right, so this big gap here I need to fill. 
and this panel here, I don't know if you can see the, the tip in there, but it's in there. So you get a little pry bar. And we're just gonna kind of pry this into place. Over there. That's good. This here. going to get a couple of good spots on here so we can do this area about six inches long and I already did this side if you see and then I'm going to get the top as well while I'm here I should be able to just put a board in here and then glue that top almost all the way down and that gap came out pretty good when it was all said and then just a slight gap there nothing to be concerned about so that's the plan Cassie cut a board for me it doesn't fit well, your mark was wrong my mark was wrong yep. okay Look, there's your line. Where's my line? And you wrote an X on the piece that you All right, fine. Want. My mark was wrong. I can make this work over there. All right, and that's pretty good there all the way down. So I'll glue from like here down to the tip. And I'm gonna glue this section here on this. And tomorrow I'll stick a piece underneath and I'll just wedge that up into place after that dries. And from there, I think we'll pre be pretty good on uh, Getting a lot of this other stuff. There's just kind of a big gap here, but I think it'll be all right. Yeah, that can probably press down, honestly. Yeah. I don't know. I think I might have just been my coppers off, but we're just going to fill it with the fill. It shouldn't affect anything. Mm -hmm. The fill is technically stronger than the foam, so. Why don't we just make a boat out of filler? <laughs> that could be something. At this point, it might be easier <laughs> fighting these damn panels. Right. Yeah, I need a. A flathead screwdriver. This is popped up. I'm gonna get it down. Today, let's see if I can not overshoot my line. Obviously, you don't want to breathe this stuff. No, I'm not wearing a respirator, but we are in well ventilated areas, and I am trying to not breathe. Well, not, not not breathe, but I'm trying not to like fluff it up until it's fully incorporated, incorporated into the resin. It's funny because volume-wise, you you end up using almost as much colloidal silica or whatever the heck that stuff is as you do resin. Um, can you grab me a piece of tape real quick, please? It's under my foot over here. Hello. Two feet long. That's good. Okay. Give me a whole roll. I just want to make sure this isn't going to go nowhere on us. So now I should be able to again gingerly push that down again. That tape ain't working. What do you need? Mm -hmm. I, just need I don't want it to pop off a hair. You're getting used to my gloves. Oops. Uh, huh. <laughs> you pain in the ass. Can you grab me a paper towel, please? Quick. Cry ball. to get this point into here and then I need to get this up here onto this without the whole thing flexing out on me like it's doing. That's what I'm missing is that board. That's what fell. It's absolutely what fell was that board I had in here. So 
Why isn't this working? <laughs> it, was holding, it was holding before. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's better. What about the bottom? Don't move it. Don't touch. Oh, get, your, get your hand out. You're fine. What about it? No, I'm gonna take care of that tomorrow. I need to get this good. Flush? Yeah. Okay. I think we're good. good. Alright, now I gotta move twice as fast because this is probably starting to set up. Uh, it's always when you're like you're in the middle of something that crap like that happens. So this whole thing can get done right here. Over that point there. This can get done. Don't get greedy. <laughs> okay. Why not here? You can see how far down it is. So I want to leave that loose. So tomorrow I can just pry up this section and get that flush there. I'll be able to nail it. And same thing here. Okay. So I only do the spots of a flush right now. Okay. And then like I said, tomorrow or this week, we can actually work our way right down these panels now. All right, guys. So we have the front of this all tacked up now. And everything's looking pretty good. I do got to pry this up just a little bit and put some more epoxy in here tonight. Um, I think we're going to try to do these hull bottom panels, the two that make the V on the front. And right now they are sitting in the rack still. Um, we're going to peel the peel ply off, throw them up, and then I'll probably try to glue the flat seam with resin. Let that set up overnight and then we'll try to curve these down a little bit better as we get going. So, first we'll remove the peel ply and then we will put them up on the forms and see how they fit. Miss you okay, buddy? Like season, bud. You right, bud? That was some serious dreaming. Yeah. <laughs> this whole body it. was moving. <laughs> Action. Are you kidding? Huh? Did you just undo that so you can get the shot? Yeah, oh I, I totally did. Just so I get the shot, because we need to get shots. Here I come to save the day. Mighty Mouse is on his way. Honey, this is not trash. Just saying. This, this, this hair is not trash, okay? Huh? Yeah, but this tote isn't trash. Oh, just for safekeeping? And when was you going to remember to throw it away? <laughs> Hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> I'll throw it in a bag. <laughs>